Dick Francis' short story, Forfeit, tells the tale of a jockey named Alan York who becomes embroiled in a dangerous game of deception and betrayal. The story is set in the world of horse racing, a familiar backdrop for Francis' work. Through his masterful use of language and vivid imagery, Francis explores themes of loyalty, trust, and the corrupting influence of greed. The story begins with Alan York, a successful jockey, receiving a call from his former employer, a wealthy racehorse owner named Roland Plum. Plum invites York to his country estate to discuss a job opportunity, which York assumes is to ride one of Plum's horses. Upon arriving at the estate, York is surprised to learn that the job Plum has in mind is not related to horse racing at all. Plum wants York to help him cheat on a game of tennis against his neighbor, who is a fierce competitor. Initially hesitant, York agrees to help Plum, and the two men begin to plot their strategy. Throughout the story, Francis uses vivid imagery to create a sense of tension and unease. The descriptions of the estate and the surrounding countryside are filled with foreboding, as though danger lurks around every corner. For example, when York arrives at the estate, he notices the gray stone walls and iron gates and the menacing clouds that were building up in the sky. These details create a sense of foreboding and suggest that something ominous is about to happen. As York and Plum prepare for their tennis match, it becomes clear that Plum is not to be trusted. He repeatedly changes his mind about their strategy and seems more interested in winning at any cost than in playing fair. York, who prides himself on his honesty and integrity, becomes increasingly uncomfortable with Plum's behavior. When Plum suggests that they cheat by replacing the tennis balls with ones that have been specially weighted to throw off their opponent, York realizes that he has made a mistake in agreeing to help Plum. He feels torn between his loyalty to his former employer and his commitment to playing fair. Ultimately, York decides to back out of the scheme, even though he knows that Plum will be furious with him. In a tense confrontation, York tells Plum that he cannot go through with the cheating and that he is leaving the estate. Plum becomes enraged and threatens York, telling him that he will ruin his career if he doesn't stay and help him win the tennis match. York, however, refuses to be intimidated and stands firm in his decision to do what is right. The climax of the story occurs during the tennis match itself, when York's neighbor accuses Plum of cheating. The neighbor produces the weighted balls as evidence and demands that the match be forfeited. Plum is humiliated and angry and York realizes that he has made the right decision in refusing to be a part of the cheating scheme. The story ends with York leaving the estate and reflecting on the lessons he has learned about the importance of honesty and integrity. Through his use of language and imagery, Francis conveys a powerful message about the corrupting influence of greed and the importance of staying true to one's principles. The story also highlights the complex relationships that exist in the world of horse racing, where loyalty and trust are often tested by the pressures of competition and the desire for success. Overall, Forfeit is a masterful example of Francis' skill as a writer and his ability to explore timeless themes through the lens of the world he knew best.